Uh, Hi, my Madison family. How are you doing today? Um, this used to be... That's me, and, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> this... Hi. Oh, <laughs> my this, this, this used to be my ASMR channel, but if you haven't seen on my regular channel, go check it out. Hey, it's Alexis Madison XO. Just click on this one, and then you'll see my other channel. And me. No, he don't have one on the right-hand corner. Um, Today, because I looked it up on YouTube to see if anybody else has read this book. And as I found out, nobody has, so I'm the very first one. So I hope you guys enjoy, because I know there's only first and second. So, yeah. So first I'm going to read the back print, and then I'll tell you what the story is. Mel, Evie, Carlos, and Jay return to the Isle of Lost to recruit a new battle of villains, offspring to join them at Ordon Prep when... Hazes and the former god of the underworld almost breathes in the barrier when they go back to Oridon. Mel fears that overcome villain could wreck Ben's disease on the kingdom and her peaceful life. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading down here now. Um, I don't know if you can see down on two. So, here we go. Uh, torn between her loyalty to the Isle and her despair des to keep Ordon and all those she loves safe. Mel resolves to permanently closed the barrier. Despite her decision, an unfaithful dark forces unspectedly threatens the people of Oridon. As the future of Oridon hangs in the balance, it's all up to Mel and her other V- XS to unite and sa save everyone in their most epic battles. <sighs> Yet can the these kids prove it's good to be bad? So they do have a one and two, and in this book her hair does look different. So this is called Descender and Three, and it says with eight pages of photos, and it says monetizing of Disney Channel original movie all right so let's get started reading this since this is three uh years long or not three years long three minutes long and it says descendants three the no listation however you want to say that adapted by karen davis based on descendants three written by joanna gibson and sarah Pat, don't correct me on that, whatever it is. So I think the Gibson um, is from one of the uh, cast, I'm not really sure. But it says, to King Ben, for taking a chance on four villain kids from the, wait, from, from the aisle and changing our lives forever because for a minute i thought it said the B tb or something like that and king ben is mel's in the third movie that is her husband they yeah or wait i think that's her husband oh my god no wait yeah maybe she better read the book before she tells you yeah it is her husband my man okay so, she puts him under the spell, and the first movie, they fall in love, and he sings, Did I mention that I'm in love with you? And did I mention there's nothing I can't do? And then I happen to say that through you every day, and he sings it out loud in front of everybody. I wish he was my husband. He'd be pretty hot. Chapter 1. 
Hi, Mal here. Remember me? The daughter of Maleficent, wicked wild child, the all the isle turned proper lady of the courts. Right. I know. At first I tried way too hard to impress Ben and all of Oridon, and I totally lost myself. I was suffocating under all those layers of pink, pal pink trolleys, and it wasn't me. So I broke up with Ben, fled home to the Isle, and rediscovered my roots. Literally, dizzy game, my lame blonde hair, a fridge's purple makeover. My lifetime long Maleficent, who I call Strimby, the daughter of Eurora. Wait, I don't know. No, I didn't. I don't know what that name is. I know it's not Maleficent. So don't correct me on that either. Scaling gang of wannabe pirates weren't too happy with my return. Old trough wars and whatnot. There were the pirate duel, which was kind of kind of legendary. Very interesting. Okay, and I notice these chapters are short. As was the royal concession, Uma transferred into a giant octopus and threatened my friends. I I went all fire breath dragon on her and saved Ordon. Uma is scared off for now, but all her and to six make me realize that I belong as Lady of Vordon. I can't deny that I'll always be a part I'll through the true me lies somewhere in space between the other amazing things that happened at Coronation. Evie Asked Ben to help bring over more. I think that says Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. V K S is Vikings. I just found out. From the Isle of Isle to Oridon to give them a challenge. Give wait to give them the same chance he gave us. Well, okay. So sorry, I read this wrong. So don't quote me on my reading. I'm a really good reader. I'm just reading super fast. Chapter 2. Mother always said it's good to be back. I can't believe she was actually right about something. Hi. At dawn, a ragtail paper boy rode his crusty out bicycle down a... Square liquid aisle street. He cleared over a teetering makeshift ramp and passed a rundown. So don't count me on my reading. I'm a really good reader, but some of these words are hard. So don't count me on that. Cement. With long live evil gradually across its wall, the young Street Rat pulled a c copy of Trouble Time n newspaper out of his gr grungy, grung, grumpy or grumpy or something messenger bag and tossed it over his shoulder. Hey, check it out, he yelled to the other kids in the square. A curly-haired, limbered in a pink dress, scammered. Wait, I don't know what that says. I think it says scammered because they they put like a space in between. That's why I don't like it. But I'm a good reader. It's just hard for me to pronounce some of these words. But anyway, to pick up the paper. Oh uh, my 
gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. The girl exclaimed in shock. The big, bold headlines flashed across the front page. Read, Vikings Day is here. Four, four more to go, you ass horse. Okay, then. I can't believe that says that. Read that. Look. Read what that says. Oh, my God. I can't read. That's in a child's book. At the end. Oh, my God. Did I just said that? Oh, my. Hang on, guys. We are having a break for a second. We got them having them read what it says. Sure. Huh? A shore. A shore. I mean, not <laughs> what I said. Asshole. No, I said ass. Ass whore. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. So a shore, people. Sure. Okay. You better take that out there. I, I ain't taking it out there. Come on, I got something I got you. Hold on. Wait, okay. 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 It Vikings Day. She squarely to the crowd of the kids who gradually around for a peek at the paper. I wanted them to pick me so bad. A detailed article described the process of new holiday. It established by His Royal High Highness King Ben, and villain kids turned successfully fashion designer Evie for the first time. Any villain kids could apply to ten the kingdom ex exceedment or non prep. The new class would be handpicked in person from among the aisle. Uh, applications by the original villain kids, Mel, Evie, and Carlos and Jay. Then one week later, King Ben and the Vikings would be back to escort the lucky students to Oregon to start the new school year. Many of the Isle kids had never been, never lifted a pencil or sat behind a desk, let alone bought their teacher in up the poison apple. The hopes that the chosen student, like the, I don't know what that word is, English show or something, I can't really show it, but whatever. No biggie. Class of Vikings would thrive as the paper boy tossed another paper. Now where? Close to anyone's door. Mel, Evie, Carlos, and Jay rounded the... I don't know what that big word is. I know a lot of big words, but these are like big, big words. So I'm just going to try to sound it out. These point... So we're going to call it Alexis's make words, street corners, and step since making their own way in Oregon. The four friends had become folks, heroes to the villain kids. Still suck. Wait, let me see. Let me see how many more pages there are to this chapter. Wait, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's basically eight chapters, so I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to wait until next time. Um, we are on chapter five, so I might come back to this video eventually to see what chapter we're on when I read this again, but it will be a couple days. So, since this video is 14 minutes, I'm going to do some ASMR tapping for you guys. 
even though this is not an ASMR video, but I'm giving you some because I might start incorporating that with these books. But I will not start another book until after this one. And the other book is like short little kid stories, but we'll go with that because I only have two books in here right now. To like try to get some order off of Amazon for like Easter or something like that. And the girl in the back is Audrey in the movie. But in real life, it is Sarah Jeffries. If you don't know her music, put type in Queen of Mean. And then it will come up as Sarah Jeffries. She's a really good singer and that you should listen. I, I'm so terribly sorry. I don't have anything to drink with me when I first started the intro. But I just got done drinking or something. So I didn't have anything on hand, but I will start doing that and try to incorporate some ASMR every time, which will mostly be like book tapping like always or something like that, including a drink if I can remember. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoy reading with Lexis time and...